Bangladesh is crisscrossed by innumerable rivers, tributaries and distributary. The country faces floods, tidal bore, cyclones, tornadoes and droughts almost on a routine basis. A most densely populated deltaic land, Bangladesh, is critically vulnerable with regard to food and livelihood security. With this background, Care Bangladesh launched the Integrated Food Security Program, IFSP, in July 1999. It was designed as a comprehensive and integrated program to address the multifaceted problems. Bangladesh government and USAID make financial contribution to this effort. The overall goal of the program is to promote and protect the food and livelihood security of vulnerable groups in underdeveloped, high-risk rural and urban areas. In order to realize the overall goal, three strategic objectives have been set. Protect and promote household income, community resources and assets, improve the health, hygiene and nutrition practices of vulnerable groups, create effective and sustainable institutional support mechanisms that assist vulnerable households to improve their food and livelihood security. IFSP, a five-year program, is implemented with a total of 139.84 million US dollars, out of which US dollar 127.42 million is a grant provided by USAID and US dollar 12.42 million contributed by the government of Bangladesh. The program components are implemented in the chronically food insecure regions of the country. This mainly covers the least developed, flood and disaster prone areas and crowded, unhygienic urban slums. The program targets the most vulnerable people, the landless, women and children who suffer from chronic food insecurity. The IFSB has four components building union infrastructure for local development, build, flood proofing, supporting household activities for hygiene, assets and revenue, shohu, disaster management. The main objective of build is to reconstruct low-cost, high-quality roads working closely with local governments to ensure sustained management and maintenance. It seeks to improve management of community resources to stabilize roadside slopes and support destitute women and local government bodies. The activities have been designed to increase community participation in needs assessment, resource identification and mobilization and improvement in the performance of local elected bodies. About 800,000 trees will be planted and maintained by destitute women. In order to realize the objectives, BUILD is mandated to implement improvement of rural roads, capacity building of union and upazila leadership in selected areas and tree plantation involving destitute women. Built plans to reconstruct a total of 250 rural roads with a total length of 1,250 kilometers during a five-year period. Road construction will employ an average of 4,000 person days per kilometer. From each road, approximately 7,000 users will benefit.
The capacity building aims at enhancing the institutional capacity of local government. It focuses on Union Purishod in planning and coordinating development initiatives with community participation to foster accountability and transparency to their constituencies and build commitment to democratic principles. Under food insecure areas throughout the country, CARE is involved in 150 union Purishods to implement its capacity building activities. The number of participants in these areas will be about 2,100 local elected representatives and 45,000 selected community stakeholders, including 18,000 female participants. The objectives of tree plantation under BUILD are to control erosion along the roads, to provide local stakeholders, marginal groups, union purishots, and landowners adjacent to the roads with new source of income and leadership skills to the elected female members. Roadside plantation activities provide financial support for local government and an income for 1,100 destitute women involved in caretaking. <laughs> Flood proofing is the provision of long-term structural or non-structural measures to mitigate the effects of floods. This can be taken by individuals, families or communities. The goal of flood proofing component is to provide support to the efforts of the community residents lying in vulnerable Chor and Haur areas to enhance the capacity for flood preparedness and to effectively protect their assets and resources. Over a period of five years, the project intends to reach 676,500 direct project participants of 1,025 villages under 20 upazilas from these two flood-prone environments. The project will implement the flood-proofing interventions on an average in 200 villages in each year. এখন আমাদের এলাকায় এই ফ্লাড শেল্টার হওয়াতে রাস্তাঘাট হওয়াতে আমাদের এখানে উন্নতি হয়েছে আমরা গ্রামবাসী প্রায় 100 200 ঘর মানুষ এখানে পড়তে পারবো এবং এই আশ্রয় কেন্দ্রে আশ্রয় নিতে পারবো টু মিটিগেট দি এফেক্টস অফ ফ্লাড দ্য প্রজেক্ট কম্বাইনস বোথ স্ট্রাকচারাল এন্ড নন স্ট্রাকচারাল মেজারস দ্য স্ট্রাকচারাল মেজারস ইনক্লুড রেজিং অফ হাউস প্লেন্টস অ্যাবাভ ফ্লাড লেভেল provision of multi-purpose flood shelters above peak flood level, raising plinth level of community places like bazaar, school, madrasa and so on, provision of community evacuation boat and school boat, provision of flood-proofed latrines at community places and household levels, provision of arsenic mitigation. Securing the livestock shelters above flood level. Improving the elevation level of marketplaces and strengthening structure for normal operation during floods. Raising road cum refuge area and provision of structures to allow flood water to drain. Protecting rural settlement from being eroded with CC block and wave protection walls. Non-structural measures include erosion protection plantation, home gardening, 
Nursery and fodder promotion. Hygiene, nutrition and flood preparedness education for the local project society members, mothers clubs, children's forums and adolescent girls groups. Introduction of alternative income earning activities, community mobilization and village plan. The project is being implemented in partnership with local government engineering department and local NGOs. At the community level planning, implementation and management of the project, union porishods and local project societies play a very important role in their respective communities. Supporting household activities for hygiene, assets and revenue, Shahur, aims at improving household food and livelihood security of vulnerable urban communities by promoting productive and hygienic environment. Through this component, the IFSP entered into urban programming given the fact that urban population has been fast increasing. This leads to tremendous social imbalances, maldistribution of resources, and increasing food and livelihood insecurity. Community empowerment and participatory local governance are the crucial elements of this component. The major breakthrough is the involvement of Poroshava in identifying community needs working with the community. As a pilot initiative, Shohor will document the experiences and best practices. This will also conduct action research activities in collaboration with International Food Policy Research Institute, IFPRI. According to the plan, the project staff members are to pilot activities in several communities in four secondary cities during the project period. The project activities are infrastructure activities to protect household and community resources from water logging and to promote better sanitation. Activities are to focus on reconstruction and construction of drains, footpaths, access roads, community toilets, including maintenance of all infrastructures by community committees. Increasing household incomes by establishment of affordable credit programs through partner NGOs. This program will organize savings groups. Shahor will specially target poor women for these groups. Health, hygiene and nutrition activities to increase community awareness on safer personal hygiene and nutrition. NGO partner staff will deliver messages on personal hygiene practices and carry out activities to promote safe hygiene practices and improve nutritional status. To mobilize the community towards sustainability of the development initiatives and institutional strengthening, Care Shohor staff will work closely with Poroshava and local NGOs in community organization formation, partnership building, improving capacity to plan and design appropriate development interventions and increasing community participation in decision making. It is estimated that in five years the project will work with poor urban communities in four cities, namely Tongi, Joshur, Mamansingh and Dinajpur to cover approximately 150,000 beneficiaries of 35,000 households. The project will work with the community people for community mobilization, institutional strengthening and sustainability of development initiatives. 
about 60% of the total households will be involved in income generating activities. Disaster management component emphasizes on partnering with partner NGOs and local government bodies and agencies. It continues to address the water, sanitation, health and nutrition needs of women and their food insecure families following disasters. The project is also strengthening preparedness and response capacity of the local government institutions to deal with disaster. It is carried out through organizing training, workshop and awareness activities. During the project period, disaster management component will minimize the impact of disaster on livelihood security of 4 million 500,000 households living in the high-risk areas in 265 upazilas throughout the country. Mobile online, mobile online, Towards establishing a countrywide radio networking, project will establish both HF and UHF radio communication systems with partners and high disaster prone areas. Care will continue to stockpile materials and equipment, undertake assessments of needs and damage, and respond to disasters throughout the project period. Following a disaster, Care and its partners will conduct assessment and distribute survival and supplementary packages. It will also assure clean water sources and other supplies as needed. Network for Information and Preparedness Activities on Disaster, Nirapod, is a network of partner NGOs working in disaster management. IFSP is supporting Nirapod to develop as a national institution capable of managing all disaster programs. I am a disaster management program in staff and community people. I am a member of the capacity of the capacity. দুর্যোগ মুহূর্তে ইমার্জেন্সি রেসপন্স করতে পারছে আমি মনে করি একটা অর্গানাইজেশনের ইনস্টিটিউশনাল ডেভেলপমেন্ট এবং টার্গেট পিপলদের উন্নয়নের জন্য ডিজাস্টার ম্যানেজমেন্ট প্রকল্পের ভূমিকা গুরুত্বপূর্ণ ইচ ইয়ার কে উইল ইমপ্লিমেন্ট ইনস্টিটিউশনাল স্ট্রেংথেনিং অ্যাক্টিভিটিজ ইন 40 থানাস ইট উইল কন্টিনিউ টিল দা ফর্মেশন অফ ডিজাস্টার ম্যানেজমেন্ট কমিটিজ ইন 200 থানাস অ্যাট দা এন্ড অফ 5 ইয়ার্স a technical support unit has been created comprising of four different cells to provide active support to the components. These cells will work in close cooperation with similar cells in LGED. These include training unit to enhance the capacity of care staff, LGED, local NGOs and union level officials in designing, implementing, engineering, planning and managing all programming activities as well as increasing capabilities in various program development methodologies and state of techniques. Monitoring and evaluation unit to supervise planning, development, operationalization and institutionalization of all monitoring and evaluation activities. Geographic Information System Unit to assist other components in decision-making, monitoring and evaluation. GIS has been able to overlay geographic coordinates onto maps showing the relationship between food security and flood vulnerability and to show where different interventions overlap. Environmental unit to assist with the drafting of environmentally sound designs, environmental assessment and monitoring procedures, 
review of completed designs and monitoring fieldwork to make sure that all activities undertaken in the program are of an acceptable quality. It is hoped that given the integrated nature of the program activities of IFSP in addressing the multifaceted problems of Bangladesh, this program may be a breakthrough in bringing about an all-round development of the country. The long-range strategy plan of CARE Bangladesh will focus on rights and social justice, education and governance. IFSP within the CARE mission is committed to support and integrate, whenever possible, these mission goals and objectives. Thus, the glow of light on the eastern horizon will surely pervade all around to illuminate on the vulnerable lives with soft touch of hope.